God bless my family wherever you are. We truly appreciate the hard work of the team here doing everything to make sure they bring the man of God back. I am back and I am with you until 10 o'clock. And I just sense very strong that the Lord God is doing some things, some heavy stuff. So let me make sure that I draw myself back. Okay, thank you very much for all of you who have come back. God bless you. God bless you. Please invite others. Yes, we did have a challenge where we got disconnected. But please, I ask you and I beg you in the name of the Lord for the kingdom and for the work of the kingdom to make sure that we do bring others on board. For the anointing is like a spiritual meal, it's a food. And you cannot partake or you cannot dine alone with you if you meet others. So I do ask you that you share the broadcast with others as part of sharing a meal of the spirit with others. So we want to make sure that many of you are coming back, especially because I'm coming to the end of the broadcast. It's now 27 minutes before the hour 10. So by 10 o'clock, I'll be signing out. So we want to make sure that everybody has received, has received. So please help me to bring them back. Help me to bring them back. Send the link everywhere it has to go. Bring everybody back. Bring everybody back. Send the link everywhere. Send the link everywhere. Make sure that every child of God is properly connected to the Spirit. And every child of God is fully connected to the grace. Because the Spirit of God is doing wonders. He's doing miracles, signs and wonders in this season. So help me bring back every son, every daughter, every partner, every friend, every loved one, every family. Everybody who needs to be hit by this anointing. Do everything in your power to bring them back. So bring them back, my family. Share with them. Bring them back. 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 God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Prophet Comfort right here. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Prophet Comfort right here. Share. Share the broadcast. Bring them back. Share the broadcast and bring them back. Make sure that everybody's coming back. Make sure everybody's coming back. Share the broadcast. Bring them back. Yes. God bless you. God bless you. Even those of you who are watching by television. Make sure that you are sharing. As you're watching on television, send a WhatsApp. Send something that gets everybody at home to be connected. Let me take this call. God bless you. Good evening. Hello, my family. Hello. Hello, mommy. How are you? I'm good. And you, Pastor? May the Lord bless you dearly. My name is Prophet DJ Comfort. Thank you very much for calling. Who am I speaking to? Someone who's here and he calls us from Ewitang. Someone says, tell me, Ewitang. We are people. As long as it's tonight, what is it that you want the man of God to pray and release it over your life? Family breakthrough. Family family breakthrough. We are suffering with cancer in our family. Oh, and yeah. And I live in. That's his land. Oh, you are not united. Yes. So the family is divided, and you are having struggles with cancer. Yes, and then I'm much struggling because I choose God and choose the other God. Oh, so the reason why I need so hardly is because when I call the group, I feel Yeah. So this thing is what you need to do. I hear you. I'm going to pray. Unity is of God. And it's God who will draw all men to himself. Let me pray and let me release nothing but the unity of the family. In the mighty name of Jesus of Nazareth, great I am, ancient of days, Jehovah, I rebuke a spirit of division. Broken! You are rebuked. Never function in this family again, my God. Never operate in this family again. My turn! Father God, I call every member of the family 
I call them into the cross. I call them into a place of knowledge of who the Lord Jesus Christ is. I awaken their spirit. And I pray in the name of Jesus. Deep in their spirit, let them acknowledge there is God in heaven who is worthy of their worship and their praise. My Father, my God, my Master, my King, the one I worship in all time, I ask you in the name of Jesus, show your mercy on this family. Show your love on this family. And grace this family. With grace that is greater than grace. I thank you. I bless him. And I say this blessing will be mighty upon the life. In the name of Jesus, I call it done. Amen and amen. Dearest sister, you still there? Amen. corner, sister? Corner. Thank you very much. I have blessed you. I have ministered to you. And the favor of God is upon your life. And the breakthrough of God is upon your life. Now you are going to testify nonstop. Whatever God has done in your life, no enemy can steal it. You are given to it. Amen. It cannot be stolen by any spirit. It's yours and it's yours for Amen. God bless my family. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. God bless my family. My God and the power of God is upon the man of God. And I want you to know that God says those who put it back, he will also put them back. And Jesus put it this way. If you are ashamed of me before men, I will also be ashamed of you before the Father. You cannot afford, you hear what I said, my family? You cannot afford to be ashamed of the Lord. You cannot afford. So the Lord has ministered to me very strong that we have come to a season and a time where we must boldly confess the Lord Jesus Christ. Let everybody know who we are and who we trust and who we believe. And nobody do we believe except Jesus. Glory be to the Lord. Let God be glorified. Let the angels testify that God is worthy of our praise and our thanksgiving. Hallelujah to the Lamb. Wherever you are, wherever you are. And in Port Elizabeth, Ebai, Fibera, Angel Sikelen of Bush, Angel Pika Bush. I am coming tomorrow. I'm coming to release your blessing of 2023. 2023, I'm coming to give you your stuff. I don't want to leave any of your blessing. I want to come and give you, take everything that is yours. So, Divine and Amen Gonzo, meet me tomorrow at Dapu Hall. What's I care? Sikala with three o'clock. I, the Oxabens, I'm going to bless you so strong. So, come so that you do bless it. Let me open your life. Let me change your story. It's going to be great. So, babies, babies, don't come alone. Share. Invite them. Tell them. In cool, we have a prophet. Tell them. Senior prophet has arrived. It's going to be powerful. My title is called. God bless you. Hello, my family. Hello, baby. God bless us. Thank you very much for connecting with Senior Prophet. I truly appreciate what God is going to do in your life. So talk to me. I'm listening. What do you want God to bless you with right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is there a particular thing that you want me to keep so close to keep close? I, I rebuke a case. We love finding someone that is stuck. We need to find some vision. Yeah, or somebody will tamper with each other. And this particular person who tampered with the year has left a case that says no money must enter the family. It's not only your parents who are suffering financially. The children of Abu Naba Twadi, they are also suffering. Yes, very true. So has a problem in Abu Twadi family. It's, it's, a, it's a problem Asian the entire family. That case is broken, my sister. I'm going to get it. 
is broken as I lift up my hands in prayer right now. That curse is leaving the family. It will never repeat itself. As I lift my hand, God is my witness. I feel power. There will never be another demon that will eat your family's finances again. Broken. Broken. And never repeat. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We go from the moon, I that there will be a new rain of fresh blessing. And I will rain a rain of fresh blessing in this family. It's very true. A peace, a fresh rain of fresh blessing is coming down to the family. You are going to experience fresh blessings. Believe me, it's happening for restoration. I am restoring everything in the Yahoo for the Yes, we are Father God, I thank you. I stretch my hand in prophecy and in prayer. And I say, restoration is their portion. Let them be restored. Let their children be restored. Let their grandchildren be restored. Father God, everything that was stolen over years, many years ago, let it be restored. I thank you, Jehovah. Jehovah, I speak it. Let it be restored. Asha! Let it be restored. None of them will suffer another delay. None of them will suffer another delay. They shall all experience nothing but restoration. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. You have a I bless them with the blessing. They shall flow in this anointing. In Jesus' name, I pray. Receive the anointing of restoration, sister. In Jesus' name, be restored. Be restored, sister. Thank you, God bless you. Wow. You know, when I minister to that family, I felt a wind, a fresh wind. I felt a breeze, like somebody is blowing. I felt that fresh wind and that fresh breeze. And the Lord began to give me a confirmation by prophecy that they have now received a fresh visitation. So they have received it. I tell you, let me take this one. God bless my family. Hello. Hello, Daddy. How are you? Very well. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you, Daddy. Daddy, you're speaking to the young Obey Central Trainers. Okay. Yes. Um, yeah, Daddy, I really need some prophecy. Yeah. Because I do not know exactly what is going on with my life. Mm. Yeah. Um, I applied and I went to an interview and there was something that is promising that I might be taken, but suddenly someone else was taken. Mm on that position that I applied for. Yeah. And I was looking forward to the other position that I went, but nothing that is coming on my side. I don't know exactly what happened. I want you to listen to me. There is somebody who is waking day and night to eliminate you. Oh, okay. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, and I can hear you. Even as I talk with you, I see a dark shadow of a woman. This person is following you like a monetary spirit. Oh. And is working day and night to get rid of you. Oh. Do you hear what I said? Yes, that I can hear My you. eyes sit in that. I have closed my eyes. But the vision of this person is so crystal clear. No. I want you to be careful. Yes, you are spiritually monitored. Mm. There is a monitoring spirit that is denying you access into your God-ordained blessing. When you must access what is yours, that spirit is polluting your blessing. Yes, 
Rosale roso pro sato precatush. Rema sopre tolo sopra dushia. Maya tosha comprendo lo 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 lo. Jehovah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Don't allow your child to be a victim of shame. Don't allow your child to be another victim of last minute disappointment. Don't allow the haters to celebrate the destruction of your beloved. Holy Spirit, let this dark garment leave her eyes. By suiting. Father God, I thank you. Increase belongs to you. Abundance belongs to you. Overflow belongs to you. Shower her with grace. And shower her with mercy. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Thank you. My sister. Thank you. When I ministered to you, I saw a vision. You were getting divided into two pieces. Yes, out of you, another person came out. Yes, sir. You hear what I'm saying, Mama? Yes, sir. Somebody came out of you. You were one person and you were followed by a shadow. Then when mm -hmm. I rebuilt that, out of you, what better was Puma Omuteski, who trouble baby answer mm -hmm. And God is giving me a assurance that I need to give it to you that you have been separated from what is having come. Thank you, sir. You are delivered in the name of Jesus. Thank you, sir. This thing will never change for you. Thank you so much. Sir. In Jesus' name, I bless you. Thank you, sir. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's done. It's done. It's done. Thank you, Holy One. Thank you, Holy One of Israel. Oh my God. Oh my God. Family, listen. The presence of God is so strong. The same anointing I felt when I did prayer. The same anointing I felt when I am sitting in the face of God. It is just flowing. It is just flowing right now. Oh yes. It's just flowing right now. I'm left with 10 minutes. So I want to use that 10 minutes to also take you to a place of thanksgiving. Place of thanksgiving. Place of appreciation. Place of humbling yourself before God. And a place of saying, Lord, have mercy on me. For I am a child. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you in Alexander, by now you know senior prophet is in Alexander. Yeah, we are in, in Weinberg. Weinberg, 211, 2nd Avenue, Weinberg. And I want you to understand the vision because we are not in Weinberg to stay. The Lord has already spoken to us that we are making our way to Central City. So we are positioning ourselves there. And you are part of the vision. You are part of the vision. So we are there in one bag. We started on Sunday a great revival. A great revival. And I minister to God's people after 40 days of sitting in the face of God. I'm telling you, I started with a handful of people. Started with people who could not even see their hands. I'm telling you, I always say to people that, that you know, in a, in, in a dusty place, a dirty place, if you come to that place in one bag, you will pray in tongues and say, oh Lord. I started there because when God is going to do something great, he starts in, in a better humble. So that's where I am there in my bed. I tell you, that's where I am. The Lord, the Lord spoke to me about Sergeant City. And he said to me, son, you are going to establish me and all that is in me. And I said, Lord, how do we start? And he said to me, okay, you're going to start in Alexander. You're going to break every spirit of witchcraft and witchcraft in Alexander. You're going to get Alexander pure and holy. And I blessed the Lord for Alexander. We went to Weinberg. We are on Second Street. In 211, in that building. We are not there to stay. We are, we are there to mobilize an army. We are there to build a people that understand a prophetic send off, a prophetic release, a prophetic mandate. So we're going to be there for a very short period, a few days, perhaps a few weeks. And after that, we're going to march into, into Santa City. And the Lord spoke to me what kind of building I need to start to form inside there. He said to me, Look for a car showroom. What is a car showroom? A place where they sell cars, you know? You know how they sell cars, filled with glasses and everything. He said to me, trust me for a car showroom. So inside there, we're looking for a car showroom. Somebody needs to close this car showroom. And that particular car showroom, we're going to trust God that we can take it and turn it into a sanctuary. And God spoke. And we're going to keep our services there inside there at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. We're going to change time. We're going to be 4 p.m. 8 a.m.
p.m. we use the in Victoria Way and Casa, and 4 p.m. we use the in Santo. That's how we're going to grow the people this week there. So all of you who can make their way and come and pray with us there in one day and begin to watch the new baby come out. You watch the new, you know, it's always beautiful to be a witness of a new thing of the story. So if you want to come in and be a witness, be a first fruit of what God, because, because it's just going to explode. It's the same thing I told God's people when God sent me to Victoria. And we started there in 2011. Four years. I can't believe 12 years ago. I started with two sisters. And I will say it on radio and I say, come and be a witness of what the world will do. And nobody knew that it was going to be a move of the spirit that is going to take over the whole country and the whole community. Now God has given me another further assignment. Because he said to me, Sanjay is the financial capital city of the continent of Africa. You know that by now, Sunday is. And he said to me, you go over there and you obey me there the same way you obeyed me in the capital city of the country of South Africa. And the Lord positioned me there. And I'm there. I'm strategically there. I'm sitting there and I'm watching the Lord. The Lord is strategically positioning us. And I appreciate all of you who came from Sunday. You came. And I mean, we started with a handful. If I tell you what we look like on Sunday, it, it, you will laugh at us. We were just like, oh, God, have mercy. <laughs> but we saw the number increase. And I'm telling you, we started, I believe, on day one. We were 52 on Sunday. Five to true story, 52. That was on Sunday. Then on Monday, we went to 85, and we blessed the Lord. Then on Wednesday, we went to 133. Then today, we went down to 110. Then tomorrow, God is going to increase us because most of you watching on TV, you're going to come. Thursday, we will do Friday. But I'm trusting God by Sunday, this coming Sunday, when I'm there, we would have crossed the 300. I'm believing God for that. And I know in less than four weeks, a month, we would have crossed a thousand. Thousand of you. And we are trusting God for a showroom, a showroom where they sell cars. We're going to take it and we will rent it and be tenants and we turn, turn it into a sanctuary. Right in Sante. We don't want to be anywhere else. No, in Sante. And we're going to keep the service at 4 p.m. So 8 a.m. we do Pretoria. And 4 p.m. we do Sante. That's what the Lord said we must do in year 2023. So wherever you are, wherever you are, you're in Soweto, you're in Brooksburg, you're in Grandbeck, your prophet is now in town. Your prophet is in town. I'm there in one day. I didn't send anybody. No. No. When I went to, I have never been to Victoria Way. I haven't been preached in Victoria Way. No, I haven't. I have. People of Victoria Way are sending messages and are asking me, what's going on? Are you fine? I'm not fine. I'm over fine. I'm more than fine. I go there during the week, but I don't go there on Sunday. Because I am in obedience to God's instruction. I am obeying God. And when the right time comes, I go back and I do my morning services in Victoria Wednesday. When this baby in Sunday has been well fed with the fresh milk of the spirit. But I want you to understand. Come on. Come on. East way, west way, south, north. Listen, come and join us. I tell you, we are now in one day. And the place where we are, you need to be strong. You need to have faith. That doesn't look like church. But that's how God builds a great thing. He builds them around. So you can come. So Sunday we are there. Actually, every day, because the crusade that we started there doesn't stop. We started a crusade on Sunday. It doesn't every day, every day, every day. Every, we started on Sunday. Sun every day. Tomorrow, I am in Tribeca. But Prophet Harry, my son in the Lord and in faith, he will be in 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 in, in, in Alexander for two days. Prophet Harry will be there. Harry is gonna do Thursday and Friday on behalf of his father, Mr. Kabbalah. What I'm doing today. And Prophet Muzonto will come on Saturday and do Saturday and Sunday on behalf of his father. What I'm doing today. Then myself, I'm gonna come Saturday, 4 p.m. service. Then I'm gonna do it. Then Monday. So we are not stopping. Even next week we continue. The numbers are growing. The numbers are growing. We started with 50. It's like a job. 50. We went to 85. We went to 123. 
Today we talk when you want to tell, I'm not happy. Because why should we drop? We shouldn't drop. I'm not happy at all. But I tell the Lord, Father, forgive Muruti Moses. So today we went to one chair. Tomorrow I know God is going to double up. Friday I know it's a full house. No doubt. Because many of the Friday won't go through. Then Saturday we're going to do counseling one on one. We're going to do housekeeping Saturday. We take it slowly. Then Sunday we explain. Then Monday back to the crusade. This crusade is not going to stop. It's a move of God. We are not going to stop. If anybody asks you, when is the crusade in Saturday or in Weinberg stopping? It's not stopped. It doesn't even have a date where it's stopping. It's not going to stop. And as the crusade is moving and the numbers are growing, then we look for a bigger day. A bigger day. But ultimately, I'm trusting God, just before Passover, Good Friday, we would have found the best place in Sunday City. I know we would have found it. So agree with me. Believe God with me. Trust God with me. That what he spoke, he shall establish it. My time right now is two minutes before 10 p.m. I need to bless all of you and I need to sign up. You pray for me because I'm praying for you. Father God, every woman of God, every man of God, everyone who has a need, who is trusting you for a miracle, who is asking you for a supernatural touch, I ask you right now, use me. As a vessel to change their destiny. Bless them strong. Bless them mighty. Bless them heavy. And bless them too much. And heal the sick. Deliver the bound. And set free the captive. I humble myself before you. And I say thank you for touching my journey. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the blessed. Love you so much, and I will meet you again May and May, every Wednesday, 8 p.m. And then I want to send a special shout to Mr. Andrew for this amazing team that is looking at here, and the other one is right there on the other side of the car. Thank you very so much for their effort, for their hard work, and for their love for God. And God bless you. And maybe the pastor, maybe the production team, he said to you, good night and goodbye.